happy Friday, PPR fans, and welcome to week four. My name is Abby Grasser, and we're here at Claremont High School. Tonight, the Claremont Chieftains are hosting the Classical Academy Caymans, and it is promising to be a very exciting matchup. Last Friday, Classical Academy lost in their game against Coronado 34-23. This was the Caymans first loss of the season. Caymans did have strong showings from quarterback Sawyer Bray, who rushed for 87 yards and scored a touchdown, and Justice Smith, who gained 136 total yards and scored two touchdowns. Meantime, the Chieftains are on their home turf tonight and are coming into week four with a 1-2 record. In their game last week against Sweetwater, Claremont's defensive line kept up the pressure with three sacks, two from cornerback Julian Lopez and another from middle linebacker Diego Matsumoto. Tonight is also such a special night for the community. It is Circle of Friends Night. This is a program here at Claremont High that aims to make campus more inclusive for students of all abilities. So this program brings together special education students with general education students and allows them to play sports, lunchtime activities, and games together. We're about to watch the circle of friends walk out with their football team right before the game begins. Carly's being escorted by Alex Colwell Woo! and Jose Ramirez. Um, one of the examples for our inclusive youth leadership is the Circle of Friends, which is a club on campus and it's made up of students with and without disabilities. There's youth leadership, uh, both students uh, with and without disabilities take part in designing the events and planning the events. Um, and tonight was just a, a special moment that our football team wanted to participate with the kids and bring them out here. So I think it's a great opportunity for children with special needs like your daughter to be included and to participate in the activities with, with the typical kids. It's a great opportunity for on both sides. The Chieftains expanded their circle of friends as they hit the field for week four. Starting off in the second, Classicals Justice Smith pushes through for the first touchdown of the game. The score is 6-0. Claremont's Julian Lopez sneaks it in to put the Chieftains on the board. Board, the score 13 7. It is an action packed second quarter. Classicals wide receiver Thomas Wenzel catches that ball and runs it in for an 80 yard touchdown pass. The score is now 19 7. Now on the third, Classicals Justice Smith is back for more. Here he is as senior quarterback Sawyer Bray hands him the ball. He takes a 70 yard touchdown run to the house. The score is now 26 7. In the end, the Caymans got that dub 26-14. After the game, I spoke with Classicals wide receiver Thomas Wenzel. Okay, I'm here with Thomas Wenzel from Classical Academy. First of all, you ran such an impressive touchdown pass. Tell me a little about what you were thinking while that was going on. What was going through your head? I was just making sure to buzz my feet because I hadn't been doing that all practice to make the corner come down. And then Matt, uh, Sawyer threw me the ball and I just caught it and ran. I was amazing. Tell me a little bit, what was your preparation like for this game this week? Mm, we just had to stay disciplined the whole week because we had so many flags last game. Still, still this game we had got scored on a bunch, but like, we just had to stay disciplined all week, listen to coach, and came out with the dub. Oh, that's awesome. And um, what are you most excited for about this season? I think we just keep working on discipline. Stay with the team, stay together, play for your brothers, not selfish ball, and then we can just go as far as we can. Oh, 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 oh. 